Bang, you're lucky you wouldn't get locked up. You get a permanent bloody hard on and the entire female population dropping at your feet like limpets. You don't deserve friends like me. I've never been this bloody compromised in my life. I am an honest person. Dressing? If you'd been dressed in the first place, this wouldn't have happened. Beverly's home phone number. She wants you to give her a ring. The least you can do is give her a bit of time. Thanks. Oh, and thanks. Did you find her attractive? Who, Alec Ryan? Well, she's older than I go for. She's more middle class than I'd be comfortable with. Uh, she's kind of attitude that puts me right off. Apart from that, I think she is absolutely stunning. Even I'm beginning to dream about her. Because I don't think I should completely set <laughs> I mean, that's cabbage called spread cream. Yeah, but... the stuff you read in the 40th time. I lived over the brush with a paleontological fossil. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Anybody seen one Springer? No. Well, he's third or fourth. Second. Send that message. Will you get that off? Look, that note proves bugger all. Why would you want to hurt me? I didn't. You wanted to hurt him? No. You're aware you've wrecked his marriage. I'm not as bad as you think I am. Whose standards are we going off there? Obviously, I'm off the scale on account of ritual adultery. But where are you, Springer? Where are you and Anna Crane? Danny Glass would tell you that. I've told you, Springer. There are information in people and information out people. One species lives longer. <laughs> You're way off beam, Vivian. He's having her followed by a private detective. You don't even know her. How the hell did that happen? It's a long story. I'm gonna tell him. If, if you're tired, you should sleep. I was looking at my eyelids from the inside. What, what time is it? It's about half past one. I just came to give you a check if you're feeling up to it. Did she 
tell you about a, a friend, a, a, a new friend. <laughs> Were you there when they got drunk? No. Oh. Uh, has, he, has he got a name, this, um, this friend?
doing this, McGinley? He didn't even like me. I pushed and shoved and smiled and preened for six bloody months before I got so much as a handshake. I still feel like he never took his gloves off. <laughs> no, you wouldn't find Spring or Green with that one. How the hell did he get mixed up with her, for God's sake? Well, they met before he got the job. In London? On the train on the way up from London. Sheer destiny. Why did he blow the whistle on us? I don't really know. I think... Lady Macbeth was too committed to the belief that her old fellow was a shining saint. Well, like we all were. Excluding yourself, obviously. Thank you. My pleasure. Anna Fairley Organisation, Michelle speaking. How can I help you? I need to speak to Anna. I'm sorry, she's in a meeting. Well, you're going to have to break in, Michelle. Tell her it's Owen and tell her it's urgent. Sorry, I'm under strict instructions not to. She'll only be another half an hour or so. I'm on the mobile. 